welcome our viewers. This is the Alabaster Hour. This is an episode whereby we bring you the word of God and prayer. An Alabaster Hour, we bring you the word of God and prayer. Sometimes we come to you in worship and prayer, but in this episode, we are bringing the word of God and prayer. It is important for you to know that the word of God carries everything. Your breakthrough is hidden in the word. If you have the word of God, you can go very, very far. So I want to begin by reading a scripture here. That is the book of Matthew chapter number 13, verses number 44. The Bible says in Matthew 13, 44, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy went and sold all he had and brought and bought that field. In other words, the Bible is saying that the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. And when a man found this treasure, he hid it again, went and sold everything he has so that he can go back and take that field where the treasure is. That is a simple scripture, actually it is a parable. But one of the things that I want you to understand is that parables basically they speak into our daily lives, they speak into our lives. These are examples that Jesus gave, they are very, very powerful, very unique and you get to understand the meaning in the parables. You're going to even understand your life better. So this day specifically, I want us to talk about breakthrough blockers. Most of the time you, you hear a lot of sermons concerning how to unlock your breakthrough, how to work in breakthrough, how to see breakthrough, how to engage your breakthrough. Those sermons are there, they are powerful and God is in it. But most of the time we have breakthrough blockers. In us, we have blockers of breakthrough. The enemy is very strategic. I want to say that Satan will never really come to you in horns and tell you have come to block your breakthrough. No. He will use you actually 80% of the time. It is not going to be an external arrow. It's not going to be something that he does uh, from far. No. The devil comes and uses you against yourself. But today in the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to understand how to take off the breakthrough blockers in your life that you may be able to walk in breakthrough. The will of God is for you to be blessed. The will of God is for you to walk in breakthrough. The will of God is that you're going to see progress in your love, life every day. The will of God is that you're going to be where you need to be, where you need to be there, in the manner that you need to be there. That is the will of God. The plan of God is that you're going to walk in breakthrough. The reason why Jesus died on the cross is that you may experience breakthrough. And so why are people not getting breakthrough? Why is it so hard just to, for you to walk in breakthrough? Why is this such an impossible mission for you to see breakthrough? It is because they are, ble uh, they, they are blockers of breakthrough. They are blockers of breakthrough. And number one blocker of breakthrough that I want us to look at, it is in terms of the things that you do daily, the things that you do daily. What are you doing daily as a person? What are you engaging in? When you wake up in the morning, what are the things that you do? There's a lot of people who want to work in breakthrough, but the things that they do, it doesn't open up doors of breakthrough, all right? That can be a breakthrough blocker. When you wake up every morning, you don't even pray. You just wake up, you pray maybe a casual prayer. Oh God, I pray that this day I'm going to experience breakthrough. Amen. That um, I can assure you, that does not shake the kingdom of darkness. The devil understands that you can only shake him by walking in power, by walking, understanding the word of God concerning your position. So when you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Are you a person who knows how to pray right? How to pray with the scriptures? Are you a person who is very serious concerning your life? How you speak and the things that are surrounding you and the way your environment is, are those things important to you? So what you do on a daily basis will determine if you're going to break, uh, get a breakthrough or if you're not going to get a breakthrough. I want to read a scripture here and that is the book of Galatians 6 and verses number 7. That is the book of Galatians 6 and verses number 7. The Bible says, For whatever a man sows, that will he also reap. 
whatever a man sows, that also will he reap. So if you wake up every morning and what you're sowing is just a lot of words and nothing really that can bring around a breakthrough, you're not going to reap a breakthrough. You are going just to reap other people talking to you, things that are not even going to take you anywhere. So make sure whatever you are planning every day, whatever you are doing every day, it is a seed. If the seed that you're planning every day is complaining, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is to complain about your work, to complain about your family, to complain about everything. If you're just grumbling every time, if you're just annoyed every time, if you're just unhappy and you're not content about everything, I can assure you, you can never, never really unlock breakthrough. If you're a person who is always moody, always grumbling, always complaining, always unhappy, always you don't have gratitude, that kind of an attitude can never really unlock a breakthrough. That is a breakthrough block. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I rise against those powers of darkness. I rise against that demonic power that has bound you. All you do is complain and mama, and you don't have prayer in your life, prayerlessness. Those things, I cut them out of your life in Jesus' name. And I pray today that you're going to wake up every day having a positive mind and, and knowing that things are going to be okay. Every breakthrough block that the devil has strategized and put in you and put in your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cancel that power in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare from today no matter how bad things are you're going to walk in a positive manner you are going to know that God is faithful and even whether this situation is like this or not God is going to see me through that is the kind of attitude that brings around a breakthrough but you are going to get your breakthroughs from today because now you know that when you walk every day complaining whatever you're putting in every day it is a seed you're sowing a seed and I pray that you're not going to be sowing seeds of complaining, seeds of murmuring in Jesus' mighty and holy name. And, you know, the other breakthrough blocker that I want to talk about today, it is about the, the, your thought system. What are you thinking about? Most of the time when people wake up in the morning, when people, you know, prepare for their day or prepare for a meeting or prepare just to face the day, their mind is full of things that are not benefiting them at all. And the things that are in our mind can be a breakthrough blocker. Let me talk about a scripture here, which is Proverbs 23 and verses number 7. It is a very familiar scripture. The Bible says, for as, the, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? What are you com uh, contemplating about? When you wake up every day, when you're facing life, are you thinking about how things are hard? Are you thinking about how you're not going to make it? Are you thinking about how impossible things seem to be? Are those the things that you're having in your mind? If those are the things you're having in your mind, you are blocking your breakthrough already. Now, it is important for you to know that you need to renew your mind. You need to renew your mind with the word. You need to renew your mind and think about things that are good, things that are powerful, things that are profitable, things that are good, acceptable. Those are the things that should be in your mind. Now, most of us every day because of our surrounding, we find that our thought system is corrupted by the things happening around us. Most of the time you find of you 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 know you are not thinking right because of what happened and the things that happen in our lives most of the time determine what we think you can find somebody dwelling on an issue for a whole hour a whole day a whole week because some business deal never worked and so all you're thinking about is how you have lost the money how you lost the opportunity how that somebody doesn't love you you have such a negative thought system now in the name of jesus i pray that you're going to train your mind to think right. You're going to train your mind to think like the word of God says. You're going to think the will of the Father. You're going to realize that God has got good plans for you. And if God has good plans for you, then you're going to think about the goodness of the Lord. You're going to think about how God is thinking to prosper you. You're going to think about how God has planned to elevate you. You're going to think about how God has planned to make you great, has plans to make you succeed. You're going to think about how God wants you to excel even when you feel you're so down. 
Those are going to be your thought. And therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare a change of thought. I declare a change of thought. I decree that you're going to hunger and thirst for the word of God. Because only the word of God is going to be able to reformat your thought system. Your thought system can only be reformatted by the power that is in the word of God. If you don't have the word, whatever is surrounding you is going to crowd your mind. You're going to have, you know, a thought system that is so corrupted. A thought system that is not clear, you know, you cannot have the perspective of the will of God over your life. The other blocker I want to talk about concerning your breakthrough, the other thing that really uh, blocks your breakthrough, it is, you know, when you're not walking in faith, you have to walk by faith. You have to walk by faith. Now, we have believers who don't believe in our time. We have believers who don't believe, believers who walk in unbelief. And today I pray that you're going to begin believing because you see believing God is working actually by faith you know thinking about things that are impossible in the sight of men in the mind of men as if they are let me just read a scripture here in the book of Mark 11 chapter number 24 it says whoever Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In other words, when you ask for something, when you go to God in prayer, you're not just going to try, you know it has been done. You're not going to go into prayer and see if it's going to come through. You know as you pray, your answer is already there. That is now believing. That is now knowing that our God is a God of possibilities. Do you believe? Do you believe that where you are right now that God can promote you? Do you believe that the things that seem impossible that God can make them possible? Do you believe the barrenness you see in your finances, the barrenness you see, you know, in your life, in your body, that these things are just something that God can deal with? Do you believe? We need to be believers who believe. Most of the time, we don't believe. You begin your day, you wake up in the morning, you're going on in life like normal, but in your heart, you have got no faith that something good is going to happen today. I pray that you're going to have that faith. That when you wake up in the morning, you're going to have faith. That this is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice. In other words, whatever the devil has planned to do myself, I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to see God. I'm going to experience God. And because of that, I'm going to rejoice and be glad in this day. So in other words, you're saying, this day is going to bring me gladness. This day is going to bring me joy. This day is going to bring me jubilation. You're saying, this day is the day that the Lord has made. That is for you. You know yesterday didn't work well, but this day is going to work for me. You know the last business deal never works right, but in this day my business is going to work. You know that yesterday you are not liked, you're not favored, but you know today I am going to work in favor. You believe, you program your day in a way you know that God is with you, that that is the day that the Lord has made, that that day has been made just for you. If you wake up every day with that kind of a mindset, mindset of faith, you're going to be able to unlock your breakthroughs. But if you wake up every day and you're thinking how today is going to be a continuation of yesterday. I know sometimes when we go to work or whatever we do in a day, and it can seem like a continuation because it is a system. You, you go through it each and every day. But I want you to remember, you create your world. You create your world by your thoughts, by your mouth. Okay? So, you walk by faith. You speak what you want to see in your day. Will you speak? Speak that prosperity. You speak the open doors. You speak by faith. It may look so dark outside. It may look so awkward, you know, when you do that. But when you walk by faith, you know, it is not sight. It is faith. Faith is not what you see. Faith is what you expect because, you know, God loves you. God has got good plans for you. God wants you to prosper. God will not keep you on earth for 40 years just for you to terribly fail. God will not keep you in the face of the earth for 50 years just for people to laugh at you. God will not keep you on the face of the earth for 60 years just for you to go through shame. No, that is not the kind of God we serve. We serve a faithful God. We serve an awesome God. Walk by faith. Believe in your God. Can you believe it? People who don't even know God, people who believe in other gods, people who are in idolatry, they believe that a specific statue is going to work a miracle for them. And guess what? 
They see things happening in their lives. It could be demonic things, yes, and demonic power behind it. But they believe. They wake up, they worship those things, they put sacrifices on those, you know, their God, and they believe that their day is going to work out well. What about you? You know the true God. What about you? You've been saved by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. What about you? You have a God that you can call and he's going to answer. I pray today in the name of Jesus that even as you go about your day, you're not going to walk thinking that things are not going to work. Possibly it's not today. It is today. Today is the day that God has set your breakthrough to break forth. Today is the day that God has set you to see miracle happening in you. Like today is the day that God is going to make things that are impossible to be possible. And I pray for you today. I cast that spirit of unbelief. I cast that spirit of unbelief. You spirit of unbelief, lose my brother. Lose my sister. Let them go in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that your mind and your mouth are going to work in unison for your favor. Your mind and your mouth are going to work in unison for your favor. Your mouth is going to speak the word of God. Your mind is going to meditate on the word of God concerning your life. You're going to be your own prophet from today in the name of Jesus Christ. You're going to believe in yourself and what God has given you. You're not going to work in unbelief. I command that root of unbelief right now in Jesus' name to be uprooted. I approve that root of unbelief in your life in Jesus' name. And I pray that you're going to see the faithfulness of God. You're going to see the grace of God work for you. You're going to see God in this day. I refuse that you're going to walk in unbelief in the name of Jesus Christ. And then the other thing that blocked breakthrough for a believer, it is because you don't take action. Now, if you have faith, you are going to do something about it. The Bible says in the book of James, chapter number 2, and verses number 17. That is the book of James, chapter number 2, verses 17 and, and 26 says, In the same way, faith by itself is not accompanied by action, is dead. So faith without this is dead. You get it? So if you're walking by faith and there is no action to it, then it is dead. And that is now the other thing that blocks your breakthrough because you tell us you believe that you are going to be this. You tell us that you believe you're going to accomplish this, but there is nothing you're doing to it. So you do need to have action. You need to do something about it. If you believe that God is going to give you a job, don't just sit in the house in a closet of prayer. There is a time for you to be in a closet of prayer and there is a time for you to go out and take your CVs out there. There is action, 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 action. And the devil will bring you a blockage called lack of action. That way you can never really unlock your breakthrough. And so, I pray that the wisdom of God is going to rest upon you today, that you may know what is the right action to take, what time, so that you're able to see your breakthrough. Every breakthrough has an action plan. Please remember that. Every breakthrough has an action plan. So whatever breakthrough you're looking for, it has an action plan. Your action plan could be give a sacrifice. Maybe you're trusting God for healing. You have had faith that by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. I was healed. We were are healed. That is in you. It is in you. It is in build. You know that scripture, but then you're not working in healing. It could be the action thing that you need to do is give a sacrifice to it. Praise the name of the Lord. And it could be you need now to start working with that word. You don't walk sickling and talk sickling and think that you're sick. You need to have an action plan. And I pray today that God is going to give you the wisdom of what to do, of what step you need to take because there is a step of action that you need to take. A lot of you are believing God for something, but there's nothing you've done concerning that thing. If you believe, you take an action. If you believe, you do something about it. And so, powers of darkness that bind you, you don't even know what to do. I've seen people who are believing God to get a spouse, but at the end of the day, you don't know anybody, you don't connect to people, you have got no time for people. How can you get a spouse if you don't know people, you don't connect to people, you have got no time for people, you don't socialize? That can never happen. You need to take a nation called socialize. So today in the name of Jesus Christ, I break every power that blocks your breakthrough by making sure you don't take an action. 
evil power that causes you to remain in one place like a fool without any action. I cast that power in the name of Jesus. I cast that power in the name of Jesus. I cast that power in the name of Jesus Christ. And I release you into action taking. I release you into knowing what to do. I release you into taking the right action. I release you into taking a action of wisdom. I release you into taking a action that is going to give you a breakthrough. Never, never. Just believe, but you are not doing something. I don't know how many things you believed for. I don't know. But one of the things that you need to know, if you believe for whatever thing it is, if there is no action connected to your belief, then you will never get a breakthrough. And that's a very serious, actually, that's a very serious breakthrough blocker. And that is why most of you will wake up every day, go to work, or you don't have a job, or you have a business. Whatever you do in your day, you wake up every day. And because you are believing but you're doing nothing about it, you never really experience breakthrough. That is why a lot of people will wake up every day frustrated because they don't know what to do. Let me tell you, our God is a God of action. Our God is a God of action. When he, he decided that he's going to create man, he went into action. He went into action when he decided to create things on the face of the earth and the waters and everything else. He commanded, let there be. There was something he did. There was a step he took. So, Every breakthrough that you want to see in your life, there has to be something that you're going to do about it. There has to be something that you're going to do about it. Maybe you don't know where to begin, but you know what? The same God who has been with you this far is going to help you with the wisdom of what needs to be done. I am dwelling on this point of taking action because that is one thing that has bound people. Actually, not taking action to me, it is a chain of darkness. It is a chain of the devil not taking action. You know, if the scripture is so clear, the scripture is so clear that faith without action is dead. That is a very clear scripture. And yet you find believers who are believing God, I'm going to be a great man of God. What are you doing about it? There are things that great men of God do for them to become great. If you believe in God that you're going to get a job, what are you going to do about it? People who get good jobs, there is something they do for them to get good jobs. They possibly need to go to college. They possibly need to send CVs out there. They possibly need to connect to the right people. There is always an action connected to where God wants you to go. And this chain that has bound a lot of believers that they do nothing. I am breaking it today by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I am breaking this chain today by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you, my viewers, wherever you are watching me from, I pray for you today that every breakthrough blocker is broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to experience God. You are going to walk in breakthrough. You are going to be able to unlock your own breakthrough. Let me tell you something very, very true. It is true that you have got power within you. It is true that you're able to defeat the enemy. But the other thing that you're also able to do, it is to command your breakthrough to appear. It is to make sure it is actualized. You've been given that power. You can bring your breakthrough forth. There are things you can do and you can attain your breakthrough. This thing of waiting for a breakthrough sometime, it works sometimes. It is you who is not doing what you need to do. It is you who is doing who is not doing what you need to do. If you really know that you're waiting for a specific breakthrough, ask yourself today, before you go on with your day, before you start getting tired, before you say God is not doing what he needs to do, can you ask yourself, I am believing for this. What have I done about it? I want to go overseas. I want to go to Europe. I want to go to Australia. That is good. That is well and good. What have you done about it? Have you done research? Are you equipped for the, that nation? Do you know the requirements to go to that nation? Do you know what, are, what is needed? Do you know how to qualify for a job in that nation? Do you know the kind of papers you need? You need to have something that you do for you to unlock your breakthrough. And therefore today in Jesus' name, I pray for the opening of your mind. I pray for the wisdom of God. I pray that you're going to understand the action that needs to be taken for you to get your breakthrough. It is taking too long for believers to manifest as sons of God. Because we don't know the action needs to be taken and needs to be taken for you to go where you're going. It is taking so long for us to see 
the glory of God being manifested in our lives. Because basically as believers, we're just sitting and waiting for something to happen, poof, from heaven. And a miracle is there. Yes, those things do happen, but you know what? The Bible says that you are God's with a small g. You are God. In other words, you can make things happen. You can walk by faith. You can think right. You can talk right. You can take the right actions each and every single day. And remember I said actions are seeds. If you're going to see breakthrough, you got to have to plant seeds of breakthrough. You got to have to plant seeds of breakthrough. What you do every day will determine if you're going to see the breakthrough of God. And therefore today in Jesus' name, I pray that all these breakthrough blockers I've spoken about, I pray that you have noted them and you're going to eliminate them out of your life. Take time, sit yourself down with pen and paper. Sit yourself down, ask yourself every day, what are the things I do? From morning to evening, from evening to the other morning, what are the things I do? Analyze yourself, measure yourself, look at what you do every hour and ask yourself, the things that I'm doing every hour, are they going to measure up for a breakthrough to happen? If you realize the things that you're doing are not going to bring forth breakthrough or if you realize that the things that you're doing are not seeds of breakthrough, then eliminate them. Change the pattern of the things that you do every day. Decide I'm going to pray more. Decide you're going to read the word. Decide you're going to walk by understanding. Decide you're going to do more research for the breakthrough that you want to see. Decide that you're not going to complain. That is how you look and analyze your life of the things you're doing every day. Because I said, the things you do every day are seeds. Things you do every day are seeds. So what seeds are you planting each and every single day? So analyze yourself. Then next thing, what is your thought system? Look at yourself from morning to evening. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? When you go to bed, when you lie down, are you just thinking about how you don't have money? Are you thinking about how your spouse doesn't like you? Are you thinking about how life is against you? Are you thinking about how things are not working for you? Are you thinking about the big debt that you have? If that is your thought system, then that is a breakthrough blocker. You will never be able to experience breakthrough with that kind of thoughts. What do you do? Then you decide, I'm going to change my thought system. I'm going to change my thought pattern. I'm going to get stronger mentally. I'm not going to dwell on the things that are not positive. I'm going to dwell on the things that are positive. I put aside negativity and I'm going to know what does the word of God say concerning my finances? What do I need to do concerning my finances? What does the word of God say concerning marriage? What am I going to do concerning marriage? What does the word of God say concerning career? What do I need to do to have a successful career? When you understand the word of God concerning you, then your thought system will change. The other number three thing I talked about, it is about walking by faith, believing, believing, believing. What do you have in your heart? Is it doubt? Is it unbelief? If that is what is in you, that is why you're giving birth to, you know, to bad things, you know, because you believe negativity. You don't believe that you can wake up one day and go and meet a divine you know, help her and they help you. You don't believe that you can wake up in a specific day like today and go to work and you find a promotion letter on your desk. You don't believe that you can wake up one day and go by your business like you do every day and meet somebody and, you know, over coffee, you know, they're just at the cross table and they tell you, hi, you get to know each other and you get yourself a spouse. You don't believe those things. That is a thing that is causing your breakthrough to have blockages. The last three I said, take action, take action. What action have you taken concerning the breakthrough that you are expecting? I want to believe today has been a blessing to you. I really want to believe today's alabaster hour has been a blessing to you. And I pray that you're going now to take your life 
in a very serious way. And you're going to start working towards your breakthrough and breaking every breakthrough blocker in your life. I pray for you, my viewers, in Jesus' name, that from today, you're going to analyze your life. Seriously, sit down in Jesus' name, I pray. You're not going to be in a hurry to do anything. You're going to sit down and you're going to analyze your life. You're going to change the things that need to be changed. You're going to walk in understanding of the will of God concerning your life. You're going to believe the will of God concerning you. I cast the spirit of unbelief. I cast the power of darkness that causes you not to plan your life and take any action. I cast the power of darkness that causes you to walk in murmuring, to walk in complaining. I cast that power in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you today. Go and prosper. Go and have breakthrough. Go and bring forth what God expects of you every single day. Every day has got potential to bring out your greatness. May God bless you even as you go about your day. Walk in prosperity. Walk in joy. Walk in perfect health. In Jesus' name. Amen.